But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. This is what Rome has done. They have taught another Jesus, and billions are following their lead. And so not much needs to be said to explain this passage, as it's you know quite clear. All one needs to do now is ask a few questions regarding so-called doctrines of the Pope, his prelates, his priests, and his nuns. And so I ask, do they preach Jesus as all of mankind's biblical redeemer, when they glorify and teach their flock to worship Mary and even declare her to be their redeemer from sin? Do they preach the loving Jesus while killing hundreds of millions of Christians during the Dark Ages? And yes, Pope John Paul II actually admitted this as historic fact in his Mea Culpa of March 12, 2000. Do they preach Jesus when they declare in their Jesuit oath that lying as well as torture and murder, is acceptable as long as the church benefits in the end. Do they preach Jesus when they declare how much they hate his Bible, many times in writing? Do they preach Jesus as God when the popes declare they are God on earth, wherein even Protestants blaspheme to call him Holy Father? Do they preach Jesus as God when the Pope declares themselves infallible while at the same time declare Jesus to be fallible? Do they preach a loving Jesus when they teach those headed to heaven must first burn in the real flames of a place they call purgatory for tens of millions of years? Do they preach a forgiving Jesus when they teach you must confess your sins to a priest instead of to Jesus, as the Bible says? Do they preach Jesus when their popes echo the words of Satan in defiance to Christ himself? Do they preach Jesus as creator when their last three popes literally state in writing that evolution is scientific fact, making Jesus the creator out to be a liar? Do they preach Jesus when they place Catholic dogma and tradition above God's unchangeable law? Do they preach Jesus when they demand all ignore his command to keep church and state separate so as to get a 501c3 contract with the government and do exactly as he said not to do? Do they preach Jesus when they replace Bible doctrines with literal pagan dogma? Do they preach Jesus when they ignore and even promote homosexuality? Do they preach Jesus when they preach a cloth scapular will save you from hellfire instead of Jesus? Do they preach Jesus when the Pope proclaims that the church alone is a must for salvation? Do they preach Jesus when they openly ignore his warnings about pagan holidays like Halloween, Christmas, and Easter? And do they preach Jesus and his eternal Ten Commandments when they change his never-changing Seventh-day Sabbath so as to worship the Pope on the pagan day of the sun? And just so you know, I could have shared many, many more strange doctrines and rituals of the Roman Catholic Church, proving They preach another Jesus, exactly as prophecy said they would. But to close out this video, I would like to quote a mainstream Vatican source wherein they answer the question as to why they claim you must be Catholic to be saved. They actually stated in writing that no one who knowingly and deliberately rejects the truth will be saved. It doesn't matter how good a Muslim, Jew, Baptist, or anything else he may be, If anyone rejects the truth of Christ and his church, even one 
definitive teaching, they will be lost. And so there you have it. They state, if you willingly deny one of their so-called definitive teachings in Roman Catholicism, you are forever lost. Well, I just shared 18 out of literally hundreds of their so-called definitive teachings that are nowhere to be found in the biblical truth of the Creator, Savior, and King of the universe, Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless.